Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle today I'm going to be doing five upcoming travel destinations worldwide for 2021 but just before I get into it I would like to say uh, please press the red and white subscribe button and click the notification bell I upload at least uh, three to six times a week um, depending on my work at Morrison's and so um, if you click the notification bell every time I up upload uh, you'll receive a response every time I upload um, I do upload as regularly as possible or regularly between three to six times a week and um, I absolutely love talking about travel and lifestyle so let's jump right into it now according to ct sorry cn traveler.com cn traveler.com there's five amazing destinations in the uk europe and worldwide that are upcoming so i'm going to start off uh, with the two places and um, in the uk or first and let's fire away now number one is the shetland islands scotland uk that a far-flung group of islands that have an archipelago, excuse my pronunciation, and to make the mark as a foodie hotspot. Uh, floating in the Wales filled waters between the northern extremes of Scotland and uh, the, w the western reaches of Norway, the Shetland Islands might strike some as a surprising place for food revolution but the rich soil and the pristine sea ensures a lot of natural ingredients drawing chefs so upcoming chefs or pe uh, people that want to be a chef and a cautious food is uh, to these remote uh, sea battered shores there's six there are 16 inhabited islands um again that they are sparsely populated um so they're not all uh, all that busy and um closer to virgin than inverness just say uh, they are lashed by waters um teamed with the seafood lerwick is the capital of the shetland islands and has uh, some trendy establishments also the uk's most northerly folk festivals uh, go on there so wow um again it'll be a great place also the uk's most northernly folk festivals wow so um there seems to be again um lots to see and do with entertainment wise as well so um again great for 
people that um, again still want to stay in the UK uh, for their holidays uh, next year. Number two is counties um, of southern England, east and west Sussex, England, UK are again another upcoming destination um, around the world. Arty arrivals make the charming counties of East and West Sussex more alluring than ever from the rippling hills of the wild South Downs to the cobblestone streets of its store, stories of rye. These two charming Sussex counties glint with the kind of natural beauty that delivers endless cashier and scenery and soul soaring sea views they are both beautiful counties to visit um, i've visited both of them and um, i definitely would recommend uh, seeing them both um, because there's lots of lovely places to visit and it is a, a really beautiful area of the united kingdom and england but now a raft of new openings wow and developments are making these uh, this pretty port of the UK even bigger draw. In Brighton, the newest seafront Soho House. Wow, it looks amazing on on photos. Looks set to unlock its doors on Madeira Place. Although the exact dates. On, are yet to be confirmed um, next year while the sea layers at the UK's first national open water swimming centre of excellence will transform the former Peter Pan site on Madeira Drive in spring 2001 so wow um, Again, it looks absolutely awesome, the swimming centre. And again, and it's open water as well. It, look, it looks absolutely amazing and fantastic. Um, in West Sussex, however, you have... Um, the gut of classy Ashling Park uh, will open luxury lodges made from national, uh, that, sorry, made from natural materials. And it also has a helipad. This is very interesting. Wow. Among, uh, among its award-winning sparkling wine vineyards and um, there's also the nearby pig hotels the eighth in that litter uh, will launch a, com a complete with a wines vineyard um, in the South Downs in the summer of 2021 so wow there's um, some more well, there's more pig hotels going up and um, look there's also a helipad so um those of you that are interested in riding a helicopter or going in a helicopter can um have a go at that and um, yes it looks fantastic and um, number three um, a European destination is Slovenia. Michelin starred food and the old world wine makes this an exciting up and coming at newcomer. It's somewhat mind 
bottling that uh, Slovenia has been taught behind old favourites such as Italy and Croatia and I've been to Italy and Croatia and that both absolutely amazing countries to visit um, I would love to go to Slovenia sometime because it does look very beautiful and um, it hasn't been o overrun already after all it's turquoise rivers glacier led lakes and uh, soaring snow cap peaks are, pr are pretty enough to make even the scenic all sorts um basically weak at the knees <laughs> saying oh i need to see more the a country's most famous landmark, however, Lake Bled, is more peaceful than any of Europe's better known lakes, such as, say, say Lake Ma Magalore, Lake Como in Italy, um, Lake Garda in Italy, and it, the Lake Bled is supposed to be more peaceful than any of the other European lakes but for now at least it remains blissfully unbusy a place of wide open spaces splendid um, salience and pristine air it's also a foodie hotspot Nova Gorsa serves exquisite local food um according to the website so wow um again it's somewhere um if uh, where you would like to go to go and relax um and take beautiful scenery in and also grab some local seafood uh, so again slovenia is quite a good country to visit Number four is another European country, it's Helsinki, Finland, which is Helsinki is the capital of Finland. Uh, the Scandinavian city emerges as a cultural hotspot in 2018 and the city ploughed at more than 99 million euros, wow, um, into its arts and culture scene. Uh, Blastering an already fantastic lot of museums, concert venues, and art galleries filled with genre, bustling design spots. So, wow, that sounds again amazing and in interesting, and it's also fringed by the Baltic Sea. Um, an archer Pelagios, excuse my pronunciation, uh, which leave a satisfying salty taste in the air. So wow, and um, if you're looking for somewhere that is more uh, busier, but um, you still want to breathe beautiful fresh air, and uh, you also are not looking to go to a, a warm country then again Finland and um, Helsinki could be a great choice of destination for you and um, number five and um, is um, Accra which is the capital of Ghana in the continent Africa and um, this is if you want to travel further afield worldwide um next year africa's brightest city is shining few places on earth are you feel as energetic as ghana right now so this is again a very energetic city and uh, country uh, to visit um as as it's going creatives 
um, reimagined the country's role on the global uh, globe sorry the global cultural scene so um, again the city has a lot of culture um, and global culture to offer as well as Ghanaian culture in the Hartley city of Accra among the cool crowds and the burgeoning disapora these well there's a growing sense of ownership of Ghanaian traditions when it comes to arts music and fashion again a lot of designers um, go there as as well and um, it said so again um if if you're looking for a worldwide a destination Accra Ghana um again could be a great destination to go and visit particularly if you haven't visited Africa at all like myself it looks absolutely amazing and um, again if you want to um, see Ghanaian traditions also the arts and music and fashion there then um, again it's a busy city and if you like busy places and it's a great place to go and visit now thank you for watching everybody my next travel video is going to be tomorrow and it's going to be um basically a vlog on um what's up upcoming on my travel channel for next week and um what improvements i'm going to be doing to the channel so please keep watching i love you all please everybody stay safe and thank you and bye for now thank you bye